Hi, welcome to our Eco Mod Kit video. In this video, we're going to be making a mod from complete scratch. And just to show you how quick and easy it is, uh, we put a lot of work into this mod kit to make modding like really fun and simple and not have a lot of the hang ups that a lot of the other game mod kits have. So we're just going to get right into it. I'm on my little world here. It's starting to get dark, uh, it's dusk, the elks are getting restless. So we're going to rectify that by building a torch. Alright, so to make a mod, the first thing you need to do is to go grab Unity. Unity is free now, anyone can get it from their website. And once you have Unity, we supply you the Eco Mod Kit project. It's a mostly blank project that has some tools and helpers to make the modding process a lot smoother. Over here in the hierarchy, uh, it's most it's blank right now, but you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna fill it with uh, items and object mods. And all of these things that are in the hierarchy will be packaged together into a, a, a mod bundle. And that bundle is useful for when you want to go distribute your mods. If you have a bunch of related mods, you can put them all together. And that's just for convenience sake. So a torch is an item. An item is anything you can hold in your hand and or is in your inventory. So for instance, an axe is an item. If you have an axe in your hand, it's you can equip it and you can hit trees with it and cut down trees. So a torch is very similar. It's when you equip the torch, you get a torch in your hand. It'll emit light to the nearby area. So in order to make an item, we'll go to Eco Mod Tools make mod item and we're working on adding like organism modding which is animals and plants but for now we have world objects which are similar to uh, stores buildings are all world objects and items and items are mostly tools so when you hit make mod item you're going to get this template with item class name tool and icon item class name will be whatever you want your item to be called this can be item torch it's good the prefix with items so you don't get confused Tool is a sub-object of item torch. Tool will be the visual representation. Any object that you parent to tool will become the actual thing you hold in your hand. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I pre-prepared a torch prefab that I'm just going to drag onto here. This torch prefab has a couple of particle effects, uh, some smoke, and a light on it. And that light will give us a good visual effect when, we're on the, uh, when we have it in game and the torch itself. You'll notice that the torch is kind of offset. That's where the hand position will be. Uh, we have a marker for that too. So coming down to the next one, icon. Icon will be the icon in your inventory, simply enough. So right now it just defaults to icon axe. So we're gonna swap that out to icon torch. So that will be what it looks like in your inventory. So this is pretty easy. This is all you need for the visual representation of the object. And you can do whatever you want for the tool, it'll automatically transfer over just fine. You don't have to worry about, oh, the builds or the, the content that you have, if the models sync up. All that will be synced automatically to the client. And, and we will package all of this together and send it to the server. So we're gonna go to EcoMod Tools, Mod Exporter. Uh, it automatically figures out where your mod directory is. And that's the mod directory on your server. So we're gonna give this mod package a name. I'm just gonna call it a mod demo. And we're going to build it just for PC. We don't need to build to mobile and web, web targets. This will package content differently. So if you want people to be playing on mobile and to download your mod, you can do that. Or if you want to restrict mods for only PC, that's applicable too. And we're going to hit export eco mods. And it will export the mods nice and quick. Now, now that we have the visual representation of the item, we need to actually get the item itself, the logic behind the item. So we're going to go to that server mods directory that I, we just exported to. And every all those bundles go into exported mods. But we care about the items f uh, folder. So I've got an item jetpack here. That's a, another mod we were working on that allows you to fly around in game. It's a bit more complex. We're doing just the simple torch right now. So here you'd make another CS file that's called item torch. Same name as what you put into the Unity file. But for demonstration purposes, I've already created that item torch file. So I'm just going to move it over. And let's look at this real quick. So, item torch is fairly simple and includes our API. We're, we're condensing all this API um, together right now. It's spread out across our development files. And it represents a class that is an item torch that extends from item. And this is the most simple item you can possibly have. It'll be called item torch in game. It has no properties. You can override different methods here, like on act on block, which will be when you use the item on a block. You can override when you eat the torch. Um, that's useful for food, not so useful for torches. And etc. You can do basic, you can do a large amount of things here in a fairly condensed package. So now we have that. There's the item torch. We are done. That's it. We now have a torch. 
Except there's no way to get the torch. So we need to go to our mods director again, go to player, player defaults. And this is the items that the player starts with. So we're going to swap it out. So the, um, instead of starting with a jetpack, let's start with a item torch. So in the toolbar, when the player starts up, he will have an item torch. And that's it. Now if we load in the game and load up a server, we will have Item Torch automatically distributed to the client with no extra effort. So we have the server started up, server's running. It has just it has noticed that there is an Item Torch mod installed in the on the server. So if we boot up a client, generally the server would be running remotely, but we're running it locally for demonstration purposes. So let's boot up the client. We're going to log into our server there. It will automatically download all the new mods that have to be downloaded and it'll sync up these perfectly even across multiple servers. So we're going to wait for this. All right. So I'm over here in the dark. It is the 1 a.m. It is pitch black here. I think we can probably see the moon. No, the moon's not even out. It's covered by a cloud. So let's get our torch out so we can see some things. A torch, you can see it's the final item of the inventory there. So if we select it, we bring the torch out, and ta-da! Exact visual representation of the mod kit. You can see the fire effect is going, and uh, we have an elk wandering around in the dark. And the light is working. And this happened without any client modification. You, you only had to sync it when you connected. There's no client mismatch. There's no uh, having to download mods on the client. You don't have to do a thing. As the server administrator, this is a, a saving grace because if anyone who's run a server before you, you know how much of a pain it is to make sure all the clients and all the people on your server have the right files. And then you get these issues where people don't have... Uh, they have different versions of the same files or et cetera, et cetera. There's all numerous mounts problems that can go wrong. This avoids all those problems and still maintains a relatively simple uh, mod kit backend. So that's it. That's all you needed to do to make a simple mod.